Well, listen to this. We now know there were 100 vehicles involved in a series of crashes along I-41 in Washington County yesterday. You saw some of the incredible video, I'm sure. Tennessee woman was killed in one of those accidents. CBS 58's Brendan Cullerton live in Slinger with the latest 100 vehicles, Brendan. Wow. Jess, we've seen WSDOT workers here throughout the day reconstructing the one deadly accident that happened yesterday on I-41. The Washington County Sheriff says there were a total of 20 different accidents over an 18-mile stretch of road, and they're lucky there weren't more. Paul Williams spent the day after a massive pileup trying to find out whose car was whose. He says I-41 was quiet until the snow fell. Chaos broke free from there. Williams spent about five hours trying to clear cars from the interstate in a situation he was shocked did not create more injuries. It seemed like everybody did whatever they possibly could to avoid hitting anybody, but when you put that much, that many vehicles, that much traffic in such a small area, it, it's bound to happen. And unfortunately, we, we did have one fatality, but I, I firmly believe it could have been a lot worse. The Washington County Sheriff says response was challenging because there was not just one incident. There were three major pileups and about 20 crashes overall, involving 100 vehicles over an 18 mile stretch. Public safety was, was taxed uh, pretty heavily yesterday. Our law enforcement partners and uh, our fire and EMS um, partners did just an outstanding job. Wistot says if you find yourself behind a semi truck spiraling out of control, do your best to avoid swerving. They also say cars were driving too fast for the conditions, and they were disappointed to see so many people take cell phone video of the crashes from the road. It's just mind boggling to me that, you know, somebody would take that level of risk, you know, just to get video. So, uh, you know, a couple of them were, were pretty scary to see behind the wheel. You guys are looking at a barrier dividing the two sides of I-41 here through Washington County. The sheriff tells us those were just recently put in and they likely saved plenty of lives yesterday. Reporting live in Slinger, Brennan Cullerton, CBS 58 News.